hardest things about playing tabletop role-playing games virtually instead of in person is that it can be really tough to stay engaged as a player and as a GM. Even a seasoned GM may need to shake the sophomore slump to keep mid-campaign gameplay interesting, so here's a quick trick to keep your players engaged. Put interesting things on the map and reward your players for finding them. Maps don't need to be incredibly elaborate or detailed, they just need to be enough to help everyone at the table understand what's going on. If you're not making your own maps, you might try shrinking down a bit of text or a token really small and tucking away at a point of interest that you want the players to notice. Or if you're making your own maps, you might try dropping little items around to catch the eyes of your players. For instance, in this map, which I made for a Gorkin fight, had two small potion bottles and several empty or broken potion bottles around the tree line near the statues. Those potion bottles are here and here. Very small, definitely tough to see, required the player to really focus in on the map and look at the details. The party had only one character who could potentially reverse the Gorgon's petrification, so I threw them in with the plan that they could be an emergency item if things went sideways. Several rounds of combat later, and the party was left standing with a statuified healer and a solidly battered group. They had two options, find someone else who could save their healer or move on, leaving that player to roll a new character. As the party discussed their next steps, one player was looking around on the map and noticed the potion bottles. They were in plain sight and it was reasonable for the character to have spotted them, but would the party be able to figure out what they were? I had a few planned checks for them to determine what the potion was, and instead the player who found them said the bottles were near the statues and based on how they were left with or near the petrified people, it seemed logical that they might help their own healer statue. So with no checks and caution fully thrown to the wind, a very in-character thing for this player, the party poured the potion into the statue mouth of their friend. I wanted to reward the party and the player for the engagement with the map and the story, so the potion worked, and the healer returned to her fully mobile form. I don't like to deus ex machina like this very often, but I do like finding ways to reward engagement at the table and encouraging getting creative. Hope this helps!